what I want to do now is just kind of tell you about a little bit about our 2022 Distinguished Alumni Awardee, who is Betty Otto Lisa, who is in the room here somewhere. Um, Come on up. <laughs> Since then, she's had a distinguished uh, career in, in the science of uh, past climates and paleoclimate, and particularly uh, an early leader in the use of models to understand climate systems and how important understanding past climate is for being able to make sense of future climates. Um, in addition, she's had a distinguished career. She won the only lectureship from the HU. She's a fellow of the HU and American Meteorological Society. She's a mentor to numerous scientists, and where she currently is is a senior scientist at the National Center for Atmospheric Research. And we have a, a word for you that you get to, you're local, so you don't have to pack it into your suitcase, but um, we're gonna congratulate you. I'll keep my thank you short, but uh, it really is an honor to be added to this list of very distinguished alumni. I see you, Louis Uccellini, here, but also Rick Andes, who's retired now from that cover, Terry Kelly, John Kunstock, that we lost a few years ago, and Bill Smith, who won it last year, I guess he couldn't be here because of illness. I'd also like to take this opportunity to thank uh, and remember all my colleagues and friends at University of Wisconsin. What memories I have of what the university had to come all my degrees there. With a special thanks to my thesis advisors, some of you may know them, many do not. Frank Sechrist, who was my senior honors thesis advisor, Don Johnson, who I worked with for my master's, and Dave Houghton, who I worked with for my PhD. And a very special thanks to those of you who nominated me. I've heard through the grapevine that maybe I should be thinking of Liz Maroon, one of your assistant professors who kind of spearheaded uh, this nomination uh, for me to win this alumni award. And I'd also be remiss if I didn't thank some of my other mentors, NPR scientist Warren Washington, uh, who introduced me to climate modeling uh, back in the 70s. I was a weather nut, but I transformed into a climate modeler. And John Kuzbach, who I know most of you know, who uh, started me on my lifelong adventure into video climate modeling. And then she'd be embarrassed if I said this, so hopefully she's not here. Esther Grody Grady at NCAR, who's been my co-conspirator for the last 30 years by keeping paleo climate and modeling a bit relevant to NCAR. And last but not least, my parents, who supported and never questioned why this daughter in the 1970s wanted to study meteorology and make a career of it. My husband, Alan, who's back there, who tells me that he was the best ever hanger of the Dynamax weather maps in the uh, 14th floor uh, map room. I beg to differ because I followed him, but I think I was the best one doing that. Though. Those of you that were uh, came after that, the Dyfax machine was a very particular machine, and it liked to tear up the maps right before a major snowstorm or a uh, thunderstorm. But I learned a lot of weather by all of those uh, more senior to me that would stand around these maps and discuss the weather forecast. And then just to my wonderful children, Jessica and Brian, who have always supported me uh, in my career, though. My son never liked my hyphenated name, I'll tell you. But it's unique. I can say I went in Google Scholar. So thanks again. I'm just thrilled. I'm just beyond myself to receive this honor from this department that meant so much to me and really laid the foundation to everything I 